the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hello, YouTube channel. Here we have comic book anime reviews. Hey, remember my topic that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time now. Like, this is a really big thing that I was really thinking about making a while back, and I need to make time to make now. This is probably going to be another follow up video, video to this later on. But if you all remember, Attack on Titan season 3 just finished. Uh, we are just now season 4 for 2020. Now, I, after the big basement reveal, I have been reading so much up on Attack on Titan. Uh, I just been like learning everything I can about this big reveal, learning about and learning about how it relates to real life. Kind of like I said in my review of Attack on Titan um, for that episode when the backstory, when the basement stuff was revealed, one thing I said was this feels like you know anti-Semitism, the ideas of of what happened with the Jews and how the Jews were persecuted for years and years and years. Um, by you know the Holocaust and all the other big events that happened, and it felt felt very similar to that in many aspects. And um, will we learn in Attack on Titan after the backstory episode that you know these groups are called Eldians, um, and they have been living in this wall, a wall called an internment zone um and if you leave the internment zone you you know we saw what happened to our main character Grisha his sister was killed and murdered and he was beaten um by one of the officers so um that kind of tells you what life is like um uh, for the Eldians and uh, yeah, there's no one else that was really talking about this in like a uh, full video. Like, there's been like little video being made about like you know fascism and Attack on Titan and the philosophy of the creator and like Imperial Japan and all these other things. No one's really gone up into like the whole you know what exactly what are the aspects of Attack on Titan that make it specifically related to the Jews uh, specifically. Well. One of the biggest thing is the banners they wear on their arm is very similar to the Star of David. It's like a knockoff Star of David they wear on their arms, um, the little bands. Um, this is very true because in the Jews, the Jews had to wear like these stars of David as like badges uh, to let you know they were Jews. Um, and you know that's how them them that them they can be her and be in. Do whatever you want, and it's their way of separating it from regular people because obviously, you know, Jews look like regular people when you get down, they look like just regular white people. Uh, so, you need some way to identify who's a Jew and who's not a Jew. So you need to define who's a normal person, who's an Eldian um, in this story. And I thought that was really interesting and really, really complex in a lot of ways. And it shows like this, this series. Um, is really going, it, it really got me excited to read, to find out more about Titan, because this series, like, up until this point, you know, I really enjoyed Titan at this point, it was a really fun action show, um, and there were, like, little moral dilemmas that happened throughout, like, little tiny ones, like, in season three, we all took out the human versus human, and, and it was becoming very obvious to me, before the reveal happened, that, all time were once human. Like I kind of already assumed that fact. I didn't even hear you have to tell me that part. Um, and, but I did not expect the humans to for it to be like this and to be done in this way. Because I assumed that all the Titans were like the enemy. Like everyone else, like these were the people, the people outside the wall who want to kill the people inside the wall. And I thought that's as simple as it was. Not a simple thing. It doesn't really have to do with. Um, I mean, yes, you can twin into becoming racism, but I didn't think it would be as, you know, blatant as this backstory was. Um, to me, like, this was, this was very blatantly, like, no, we are... We are uh, symbolizing things that happened to the Jews. We are symbolizing the anti sentiment that has existed for years and years and years. Uh, for generations by generations of these people being murdered, being hurt, being castracized, being outcasted. 
uh, being persecuted in their own countries. Like, uh, all of this really felt like, um, what really felt like, um, what happened the Jews, um, way back then. Um, even when you hear the backstory, because it's, the backstory we get is that, you know, there was this founding time called Ymir. She made a deal with the devil, um, and gained the power of the time and gave it to everyone else. Um, that's interesting because, um, again, it, one thing that happened with the Jews was the fact that, like, because they wouldn't convert over to Christianity, people started making these beliefs about the Jews being these devils. Um, these demonic people who are out to rule the world, how about to take it over, pretty much, uh, who are out to, like, run their government, run the world, run, um, the lifestyles, pretty much, and, like, the Marlins feared that they would take over again, like, the idea that they want to take over, it will hurt and harm everyone else. That's very similar to what happened with the Jews. It, there are many obvious parallels there, and I think that's really interesting to have this show. That what this book is shown in the show is really going to interesting places with this story. And these Titans, the story is probably being called Attack on the Titan, even though you can also turn it to Attack Titan. is isn't really about killing Titans, it's more about, you know. Um, the moral dilemmas of these characters are going, are going to be faced with now. Um, that these Titans were once people, human beings just like them. They were the same race as them. And they were forced to become these mindless monsters who only could kill people. And that, that was interesting to me. And that makes me look at the entire Attack on Titan story in such a different way. And we look at this world in such a more complex, nuanced way than I did before. And I really liked it. I really dig what they did here in Attack on Titan. So, yeah. I don't know what topic I want to talk to you guys about. About this whole, you know, Eldian thing. And the whole idea of what happened with Eldia. And um, how it relates back to these real world events in a lot of ways. I, and I think it's just really cool. Um, I'm going to probably do another video about this one, um, probably talking about why the you term Eldians works better than just real call them Jews. I'm going to turn it in regards to mutants and fishermen as well, because those are two very um, similar um, things that are really trying to use the ideas of racism and prejudice against each other. So... Yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on that, you guys. Um, I suppose you guys think about this whole, you know, Eldian Jew thing. And I will take, catch you guys later. Peace out.